What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Let's continue our discussion for Revit Architecture 2023. So in this exercise, we're going to control the visibility of elements in a view. Okay, so the first part of the exercise, let's change the visibility settings. Okay, so right now I'm on the ground floor plan. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. Visibility graphic overrides can be found here on the properties. You can see the visibility graphic overrides. So it specifies whether elements and categories are visible in the view and their graphical appearance like color, line weight, and line style. So basically you use this to control the visibility of your current view. Okay, so visibility graphic overrides it only applies to your current view on our ground floor, which is our current view. Okay, so let's say if I turn off the door here, only the door in this view will going to be turned off. So if we go to different floor plans, their doors are, are still checked because they have a different settings of visibility graphic override. So that's how this one works. Okay, so here on this window, you can see you have different tabs. So you have model categories, annotation, analytical model, imported categories, filters, model categories. So these are the categories. These are your 3D model. Okay, so you can control the visibility here. You can change the line style. Uh, line style. You can uh, change the patterns, transparency, cat lines, patterns, half tone, blah, blah, blah. All right. And aside from that, you can also go to the annotation wherein you can control the visibility of your annotation like tags, uh, reference plane, section box, uh, dimension, so you can control it here. Okay, analytical model categories. This is more on structural part of the model, which is I really don't work on this tab. Imported categories, if you have a CAD drawing imported to your Revit model, if you go to this tab, you'll be able to see here the AutoCAD drawings and you can control the visibility and other properties of that CAD file. And here you can create filters. Okay, so you can create filters here. And if you have a link model in your project, so you'll be able to see here Revit links. It's just, of course, we don't have a link model. That's why we don't have the Revit links tab here and work sets as well so if you are doing or creating work sets to your project you will be able to see it here so there's a work set step all right so here on my uh, model category so what i want to do is i'm going to clear the furniture uh category here so let me see the furniture i'm just trying to modify my current view Okay, so I clear that one and then I'll just select here OK. And then you will now see here that my furnitures are turned off. Okay, so in this view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my current view. So remember, we have duplicate exercise last time. So I'm going to duplicate this, this one, the ground floor. So you just need to right click that. And then I'm going to duplicate that with detailing. And then we are going to rename it. Remember, if it is with detailing, it will include the tags and other annotation. Okay, so here's now the copy. So to rename, just right click and then rename. Okay, all right. So let's change this one. Uh, ground floor uh, furniture plan. Okay, so since we named this furniture plan, this is our original ground floor wherein there's no furniture. And then we duplicate it and then we put the name furniture plan. So it is just uh, logical to turn on the furniture in this floor plan view. So let's go back again to the visibility graphic overrides. By the way, you can also type uh, VV, Victor, Victor, to open the visibility graphics override. Okay, so let's open up. So here on the model categories, let's look for F. And let's check the furniture here and then select here. Okay. And there you go. So there's now our furniture because this is our furniture plan. And then we only have the ground floor here without the furniture. 
okay so another thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, open again the visibility graphic overrides of my uh, ground floor furniture plan okay so let's right click and then select repeat visibility graphic overrides you can do that you can also type VV and you can also select edit here so you have several options actually you can also go to the uh, view tab and then you can select their visibility graphic overrides so you have several options for you to access the visibility graphic overrides so you can click that and after we turn on the furniture so what i want to do is i want to uh, change the view settings of some of the elements here i'm not going to turn this uh, categories off but i'm just gonna change their settings to half tone okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select here the curtain panels i'm gonna half tone that and curtain systems i'm gonna hold control to select curtain wall mullions and then check select the door move down okay so half tone the door and then let's look for uh, railings. Select the railings, half tone the color, specialty equipment. That's that's the one. Okay, so let's check that. Stairs, half tone. What else? A structural columns. And then uh, walls and windows. These two here. Okay. And then aside from that, I also want to go to my annotation categories and I'm go I'm going to uncheck this one. Show annotation categories in this view. I'm going to uncheck this one. Okay, so meaning to say I don't want to show any annotation in this view. So I don't need to uncheck this one by one. So I'll just need to uncheck this one to turn off the annotation in this current view okay and then after that i'm just gonna select here okay and then let's see what will happen so select here okay and there you go so as you can see our view now here perfectly highlighting now the furniture so you can see the elements here are now half tone those elements that we don't need are half tone and by the way you see these grainy things here on my floor so what i'm gonna do is let me just go back again to the visibility graphic overrides and then let's look for the floor and let's go to the patterns here so let's override the patterns and then let us just uncheck the visibility okay and then just select your OK and then OK. There you go. So much better. So as you can see, our furniture now here is highlighted. And there's no annotation. Perfect. That's now our furniture plan. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to use these settings that we have here. So let's say, for example, I have another floor, like, for example, the, the main floor. So what I want to do is I want my main floor to have a main floor furniture plan as well. So of course, we are going to duplicate this, right? So let's duplicate that. Okay, and then let's rename this. Okay, so I'm going to call this furniture plan as well. Enter. Now, instead of redoing the things that we have done here on my ground floor furniture plan, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the settings that we have made here on my ground floor furniture plan. So to do that, you need to create a view template. Okay, so to create a view template out of this view, okay, so you just need to right click that and then you can see here create view template from view. Okay, so just select that one and then just put the name here. So let's say this uh, this uh, template will going to be for my furniture layout. Okay, and then I'll just select here. Okay. Okay, so once you do that, it will now open up the view templates. So I just created now my furniture layout. So from now on, any changes that you made here on the view properties, it will affect your furniture layout. So this is the view template, okay? So you just need to select here, okay? 
that's it so if you have several floor plans like you have 10 floor plans and you want that to set up like this so all you have to do is to apply the template okay so let's open up our main floor furniture plan and then after that let us right click this and then let's apply template properties so let's select this one and then let's select the furniture layout that we have created and then let's select here okay and there you go so it's now set up okay so that's it so basically that's how you create and apply a view template so that's how you set up this one way of setting up your floor plan by applying a template okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day